Hello, this is a Screencastify screencast about how to set up Screencastify to use it uh, in your classroom. So to set up Screencastify, the first thing you need to go do is make sure you're using Chrome because it is a Chrome extension, so it will only work in the Chrome browser. Um, you'll go to screencastify.com and there's an install now button that you can click. Once you click that install now button, it's going to have a pop-up that asks you to add that extension, which you'll click on add extension. And then after that, it shows up where your extensions show up in the top right hand corner and you'll get a little uh, notification that says that you have added this extension and you can use the extension by clicking on it and doing some of the setup. So we're also going to go over some of that setup that you'll need to do. Um, usually this pops up the first time, but it might not. You'll go into the settings, make sure that you have a voice and camera recording set. And I would select, it doesn't start out selected, it starts out selected with locally on this device, but I would select to save it to Google Drive. Because uh, once you save it to Google Drive, you can access it from anywhere. Once you click uh, Google Drive there, you're gonna get this grant permission shows up. You'll scroll down a little bit and grant permission for Screencastify to save to your drive. So after you've done that, you get a little bit of a congratulations screen. Um, then you'll you don't need to click get started because that will take you through a video, uh, kind of like the one that we're looking at. You're looking at right now that shows you how to do some of the setup, some of the things that I'm going to go through. So at this point, you could close this tab and you'd start Screencastify by clicking on it where your extensions show in the top right corner. So to use Screencastify, the first thing we're going to do is look at uh, the setup of it. Um, Basically, when you click on it, it gives you this screen pops up and it gives you three options to record. You can record a tab, you can record your desktop, or you can record the camera. And then it gives you um, some options. So we're going to go over each of those and uh, talk about how to set it up. Also, there's an advanced options by uh, clicking on three little dots. Um, if I go back, these three little dots right down here gives you some advanced options for your video. Um, you probably don't have to set that, but I would check to make sure that your show tab drawing tools is selected um, because that gives you the ability when you are doing a, a tab recording to use the drawing tools, which we'll talk about a tab recording right now. So tab recording basically just records that one tab that you have open in Chrome, the one tab that you're on. Um, you're going to go in and you can set up your audio, your microphone. Uh, you can select which one you want. You can decide whether or not you want tab audio to show up and be recorded. So if you're doing something um, on the internet or maybe you have a YouTube video, something like that, it would record the audio from that. You can go into your advanced video settings if you need to. Um, if you click on embed webcam, that will show the webcam like I have in the bottom right hand corner. Um, you can select here and select which corner you want that to show up in. And then the show preview window, I also like to have that one because it shows up in the bottom right hand corner kind of where my web camera is at now and it shows a preview of kind of what is going on. The good thing about tab recording is that you have these screen drawing tools, which you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, which give me some options to annotate over top of the screen, um, to erase what I, what I drew, and I can also change different colors and things like that, use a pen or switch back to the mouse. But those screen drawing tools only work when you're doing the tab recording. They don't work in the desktop or the camera recording. So on to the desktop recording. The desktop recording is going to record whatever's showing on your screen at that time, um, which is really good if you're using something like PowerPoint or if you're using Smart Notebook. If you're using something else that's not in a Chrome tab, you would want to use the desktop recording. Again, the setup is all the same. Your microphone, your system audio now, so anything that plays over the computer would be recorded. You can embed your webcam and show your preview, preview window. The camera recording is a little bit different than both those. It's just going to record the webcam. So what I have down here in the bottom right, it would record that and fill the screen with that. All of the setup is the same for it, but again, it doesn't show your screen at all. It doesn't show your desktop. It doesn't show a tab. This would be really good for students if they um, want to record into their Google Drive with Chromebooks. Um, the, the camera option is a really easy way to get recording from that webcam and to be able to use it in Google Drive. So when you hit start recording, you get a screen that looks like this. Right now, this uh, picture is a tab recording. 
but the desktop recording is basically the same. Um, I get my my note, my window that shows me what's going on in the bottom right. I can stop or pause. This will say pause, uh, pause or resume my screencast. Um, with the tab recording one, I have my drawing tools on the right, or I'm sorry, on the left. And also it just records anything that's in that tab. So it will record that website. It would record um, whatever you go to. And it just stays with that one tab. If you do the desktop recording again, it's going to record whatever's showing on your screen at that time. So if you swapped between different tabs or different programs, it would still record what was going on then. So after you hit stop, uh, it opens up a window that goes right into Google Drive basically for me. It saves it. I can title my screencast on the top left. And then I have some options up here. I can download it. I can share it. Uh, there's a little bit of trimming options um, to remove a few seconds from the beginning or the end. And then you can also uh, delete it. It gives you information about it. It gives you a direct link in your Google Drive to it. So if you wanted to share that with someone else, it tells me where it's stored. So since mine is stored on Google Drive, I have that link option. And then it gives me information about when it was recorded and how large it was, just some, some information about it. Um, so the important thing to do is to make sure that you title it and then you can also share it or download it right from this screen. You can also go, actually that first button right up there takes you to your My Recording screen. And your My Recording shows all of the Screencastify screencast that you have recorded and put into your Google Drive or if you're just on the same local machine all the time, just on that computer. Um, this is an interesting way, so you can go in and edit them and save them. It, it'll take you back to this after recording screen where you can do a few different things to them, or you can delete them right there from that um, by clicking on the little trash can. There's also in the top right, those three dots. If you click on that, it gives you the option to delete all of your, all of your recordings, um, but I wouldn't really suggest doing that. So Screencastify in the Levine Elementary School District is on student Chromebooks. Students can use it. Uh, it shows up in the top right hand, top right hand corner where all of their extensions show up. They will need to set up Screencastify to use it. Um, please make sure that they're setting that to record into Google Drive instead of on those local devices because if they're not using the same one all the time, they won't have access to uh, those recordings that they made. And also Chromebooks don't have a lot of uh, they don't have a large hard drive on them. So if we have three or four different students that are recording into there, those they'll fill up pretty quickly and um, it will stop recording because you don't have any space. Also, if they're recording to the local device and then they decide they want to record to Google Drive, um, if that if there isn't space on the local device, then it won't let them record to share to Google Drive because it does need a little bit of a working memory there to work on it. So thank you for watching this. Um, this is a Google Slides presentation, which I can also share with you. And I got the presentation template from Slides Carnival.